Welcome to Anxiety Slayer. I'm Shan Vanderleek here with my partner, Ananga Sevier. Today, we're answering a listener question that we receive quite often. And the question is, what's a good way to calm down when you feel anxious? Hey, Ananga, welcome back. Hi, Shan. It's a good question. And yes, something we have talked about before, but always a good idea to bring it around again. I think for me, my favorite way to calm down if I suddenly feel anxious is to immediately tune into my breath and practice a really simple thing, which we shared on Facebook a couple of weeks ago and got some very nice feedback on people saying it immediately helped them. So good to share it here again. It's called the long exhale. And that's all it is. You just breathe in, count to four. Hold your breath for a couple of counts and then take a really nice long breath out, maybe counting to seven or more if you can, and to just really focus on a calm, long out breath. Because when we're anxious, we tend to breathe shallow. We tend to have our shoulders up around our ears and our, and our breathing becomes quite fast, quite rapid. So to just focus on that exhale, long, smooth breath out, and that sends a signal to your nervous system that you're okay, you're in control. That's such a helpful exercise, and I also will tune into my breath. But the other thing I do is get really in tune with what my mind is telling me, what that voice might be telling me in my head, uh, and, and just say, right now, I'm peaceful. Right now, I'm okay, even though I'm feeling a little freaked out. Right now, in this moment, I'm okay. So I have this like dialogue with myself that, okay. There are the sensations, there's my heartbeat, there's that electric current I sometimes feel, but right now I'm okay. And sometimes that will just help stop it right in its tracks. Because mm. really, if we think about it, a lot of anxiety, it's a future projection. It's uh, what if this happens, what if that happens? It's an uncomfortable sensation, usually about something that may come up in our future. Usually it doesn't, just the mind playing games with us. So. What I'm hearing from you is that you're saying in the moment, I'm okay now. I'm here and I'm okay right now. So you're bringing it back into the present tense. Yes. And that will also be helpful at night because if, if anxiety is going to crop up for me, it will usually happen in bed and my mind will start to go wherever it goes and I'll start to feel some anxiety. But if I just start to say, I am peaceful. I am peaceful. That affirmation, I am peaceful. And I will repeat it and repeat it and repeat and often repeat it until I fall right asleep. And again, it's a very simple technique and affirmation, but it's my way of saying, all right, I've got this. And really, even though I'm feeling that coming on, I can talk myself into or train myself to be peaceful and get some rest. And once we've done these things a few times, then our minds get used to the notion that that works for us. So if, if that's your regular go-to coping technique, calming technique, then the more we use it, the more we can settle with it and we gain confidence in that working for us. I think the other thing I really like is, it's similar to yours, it's a, a physical getting in the moment to get grounded, to get present. I like to feel my feet on the floor. I like to be present where I am and to just say, right, I'm here right now. I'm okay. This is what I know in my present moment to really feel my feet on the earth. Or another thing that can help if you're feeling really anxious is to look around you and list five things you can see. To rub your hands together, feel your hands moving together, even to pat down your arms and your legs and just make contact with yourself in your body because very often anxiety makes us fly out of our head it's it's a very disassociative experience where we really lose contact with ourselves but just those simple grounding methods of being in touch with where you are right here right now helps calm anxiety down well that's a really great point you know the other thing that's really helpful ananga is asking somebody you love for a big hug <laughs> <laughs> i know that sounds silly but just last week, I said, Tom, you know, 
and I hug my husband a lot, but uh, I, I'm feeling a little bit out of sorts. I'm just feeling a little bit of anxiety creeping through here. And I just really could use a big bear hug. And we just stood there and hugged and, and I could ground into that. And it was a beautiful way to get beyond that feeling. And it did work. Yeah, it does. It does work. And I know um, certainly with, we talk about in Ayurveda with these different energies, different energy types, you hug somebody who's of a grounded nature. When you feel anxious, somebody who's big and rooted, it's actually therapeutically recommended in Ayurveda. Get a hug from someone big and big and grounded, definitely, or anyone. Touch is actually really, really important with anxiety to feel safe, to feel secure. And that's why we talk about oil massage a lot, just to have that contact. Yeah, definitely works. (laughs) I can hear in your voice that I made you smile. (laughs) You did. (laughs) Well, I think this was wonderful to bring back some of these very easy things that we can do. The long breath, being grounded in the present, uh, getting that big hug, affirmations, and then oil massage, just doing whatever you can to get back in your body and know that you are not alone and we will support you the best way we can 